Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hanzo from HanzoSob.com and in today's video, we're gonna be making a quadrant trap beat using only Logic Pro stock plugins. Let's get into this video. If you're interested in music production tips and tricks or other related content, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell so you won't miss out on the next video. And with that being said, let's get into this beat. All right, guys, I'm gonna set the BPM to 150. I'm gonna go to Instrument, Alchemy. I'm gonna go through the choir sounds real quick, and when I do find a melody, I'm gonna create two separate tracks for you. One is gonna have some effects on it. One will not have any effects on it, because I want you to be able to spot the difference. All right, guys, so I just came up with a melody for the choir. I'm gonna show you the version that does not have the effects. And now I'm gonna show you the version with the effects. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that I took to create it. So I went to Space Designer, I added the bright vocals, I changed the EQ in these areas here. I also added some overdrive with 2.5 dB and I also put the tone at 6300. I also went to the velocity section, I changed it in certain areas so you have the up and down kind of motion, giving it more of a realistic feeling. That is how it sounds with the effects. Oh, it just stands out so much more in the track. Nice. And now that we have that, I'm gonna go to Alchemy one more time and try to find one more choir and try to add some notes in the upper ranges. All right guys, so I went with the female choir morph. I put it under the I section and I copied the same effects that I have from the first track under the choir mix under the female choir morph. I just changed the overdrive, I put it at 5.0 dB. I put the tone at 10,000. And I did the same thing with the velocity, kind of played around with it, kind of randomized it a little bit so it has more of like a human feeling to it. Let's hear it all together. <laughs> Nice. Now that we have that, I plan on maybe adding some piano chords in the lower ranges. We're gonna hit the plus icon, click create. I'm gonna go to piano, Bose Endeavor Grand Piano. I'm gonna try to come up with a chord progression and then I'm gonna come up with a version that has the effects and a version that doesn't. And I'm gonna try to show you guys the difference. All right guys, so I just came up with a melody for the piano real quick. I'm gonna play you the version without the effects. And now I'm gonna show you the version with the effects. But before I show you, I'm gonna tell you the effects that I put on there. So I went to the compressor. I left it at the default setting. I changed the EQ in these areas here. I added some overdrive with 3.5 dB. I put the tone at 980. Also put a space designer with the jazz vocal room. All right, let's hear the version with the effects. Huge difference. Night and day. Okay, now that we have that, I'm gonna play you everything all together. Now that we have that, we're gonna add in some drums. And if you are enjoying the content so far, I made a choir beat yesterday, but that one is more of a UK drill style. So definitely check out that video if you wanna see a different perspective on the techniques and strategies. We're gonna hit the plus icon, click create, electronic drum kit, scroll all the way down to kit pieces. I'm gonna look for a hi-hat that works. I wanna find one, I'm gonna add a straight line to eighth note hi-hats. Once I add the other drum elements, like the kick, snare, and open hat, that's when I'm gonna adjust the pattern on the hi-hats. I'm gonna go with the hi-hat one Atlanta. And if you do watch my videos, you know this is a very serious moment right now. I'm about to test my Picasso. Ooh, that was perfect. A plus today, A plus. All right, I'm gonna loop it real quick. All right, let's play y'all together. Nice, and now we're gonna add in a snare. You may indeed duplicate that. Instead of a hi-hat, we're gonna look for a snare. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with the Elena. Command A, Q to quantize. Command A, I'm going over the velocity a little bit. All right, let's hear it all together. Nice. And now that we have that, we're gonna add in the open hat. All right, guys, so I went with the Roland TR-808 and I put it a quarter note after where the snare hits. Let's hear it all together. Nice. And now that we have that, we're gonna add in some kicks. All right, guys, I'm gonna go with the kick one depth charge. All right, guys, so I just fixed the pattern on the kicks. I also put some overdrive on it with 2.25 dB. Also changed the EQ in this area here. Let's hear it all together. Nice. 
device. And now that we have that, we're gonna add in the 808. We're gonna hit the plus icon, click create, instrument, ESS2. I have a preset called 808. I got it from Bolo, the producer. He's on YouTube as well. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description so you're able to get the same exact video because he did a fantastic job on it. Command A, shift, option up. Command A, shift, forward, slash, and do force legato. I'm gonna adjust the pattern on the 808 and I'll be back with the final result. All right, guys, so I just finished adjusting the pattern on the 808. I also added some overdrive on it with 0.75 dB. Let's hear it all together. And now that we have that, we're gonna change the pattern on the hi-hats. All right guys, so I just finished adjusting the hi-hat pattern. You're gonna have some 16th notes here, some 64s, a whole lot of 64s in this area here. It kind of creates this like robotic sound that I tend to go for. Then over here in this velocity area, I just kind of randomized it. I duplicated the track, pan went all the way to the left, pan went all the way to the right to create like a surround sound. Let's hear it all together. And now that we have that, we're gonna arrange the beat. Easiest way to do that, guys, Command A, Command R, repeat it all over. I'm gonna start deleting and shifting things around and I'll be back with the final result. All right, guys, so I just came up with a quick arrangement. We're gonna have the choir mix coming in at first. You're gonna have it joined by the female choir morph. All the drums come in except the 808. The 808 joins in. Then you're gonna have a piano solo. And then we're gonna bring in all the other elements. Let's hear it all together. This one is hard. Now we bring in the drums. Eight ways come in. And this is my favorite part right here. Then everything comes in together. And that should be all wrapped up, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Also, leave a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below and let us know what you want to see because I want to provide you with the best possible value. I'm also available on social media at the Honda Saab on Instagram, on Facebook, and Twitter. Links in the description. Have a wonderful day, guys.